Not all of the buried treasures that I talk about are the very best video games ever created. Sometimes they're just sleek and cool, which is kind of how I would describe Tron Evolution, which was a, uh, a prequel to the story that was told in Tron Legacy, but kind of in a loose sense. It was a game that kind of suffered from being a little too ambiguous. You didn't really feel connected to the characters, and uh, you know, a lot of the enemy types and a lot of the, the different environments just kind of were a little forgettable. You know, it was a lot of the same kinds of scenery over and over again, and sometimes you would get lost because it was a lot of black with some piping and I mean that's indicative of the Tron world so you kind of have to give it that but it did have a sheen and a gloss and you could jump on light cycles and you could you know get into recognizers and fight recognizers and there, were, there was cool things to see in this game I just like the aesthetics it was it was cool even if I got lost even if the the sort of inky blackness of the world with the piping made made me confused about where to jump and what to do because they gave you all kinds of uh, abilities kind of borrowed a little bit from the Prince of Persia world and Assassin's Creed and stuff like that. All of which you would compare this game to and it wasn't really anywhere near that and it wasn't quite fair to what Tron was. And I felt like that was one of the issues with this game is that it was being tugged and pulled in all kinds of different directions and it couldn't just stay true to, uh, you know, a smaller, more precise Tron experience. I think we've always wanted the, you know, that incredible unforgettable Tron experience and Tron Evolution isn't that. Still, it came close. There were definitely some cool bits in here and that's why I still say Tron Evolution is worth a look-see and it's definitely a buried treasure.